Fields of Fuel is, um, it was an epic film. I mean, it was, a, it was a long, arduous journey. It took about three years to make. And we both made a commitment that we would not come back to Sundance unless or with, with the idea that our film would show here. If your film doesn't get into Sundance, you're pretty much, you're going upstream. The, the, the stakes are in, uh, so difficult. A thousand films are submitted in the documentary section, 16 are actually selected. We were primarily an independent grassroots film that was funded by the Midwest farmers. For us, um, it was everything. I mean, um, for to, to be here now and to have the film showcase, um, Josh and I, everything gets easy at this point because what's probably more important about this particular festival is that Robert Redford is such an environmentalist. And you know, and his whole thing behind protecting the environment, global warming, climate action, all of those theses and themes that you know are important for Sundance. You know, I think everyone asks us that question, like, what's the plan? What's the plan? What's the plan? Is Fields of Fuel gonna get a theatrical release? Absolutely. Who's the right marketing distribution company that can work with Fields of Fuel that really can help champion this film around around the around the country? Can Fields of Fuel sustain and become if not, the third most important environmental film that's going to be out in the marketplace. Josh did not want to um, aggravate or divide. We can all come together and we can all agree that we all want clean air and fresh water. Biofuel is not a controversial subject. It's the, it's the misappropriation of information that's going out there. There's not one renewable that's going to solve the energy equation. Really what the question should be asked, what we should be asking is, what is our government going to be doing in the next three to five to 10 years? Every time you put your, your nozzle in your gasoline, you're sending money to the same people that are out there to kill us. Sundance has definitely gone more green than it's ever gone before, and we're on our way.